Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we're going to review paper. So paper is one of the most important tool triads for any kind of artwork, watercolor painting, or even for calligraphy for that matter. So in this video, I'm going to review the different brands of paper that is available for calligraphy and for art, and what my go-to tools are. So the first type of paper that's available in all homes and offices, it's the printer paper. So for sake of explanation, I'm using the JK Copier printer paper. So if you see this paper is about 80 GSM. So what is GSM? GSM is basically a measure of paper thickness, grams per square meter. So larger the number, more is the thickness of the paper. So a 100 GSM paper is thicker than an 80 GSM paper. So when you're writing in a printer paper, the backdrop is quite transparent, as in the paper is very transparent. So the tonality of the ink against this paper is going to be much lesser in comparison to a thicker paper. So if you compare the text that I've written between the Jacob copy of paper and a cartridge paper of about 120 GSM, you can see that the backdrop of the 120 GSM paper is more white. So it makes the ink stand out. Let's now try to write on the 80 GSM or the printer paper. So if you take a closer look, the ink has transferred to the back side of the paper. This technique is called as the bleeding. So the ink bleeds through the thickness of the paper. Also, you can see that the ink is not staying in place on the surface. You can see what is known as the feathering. Feathering is basically a phenomenon where the ink gets transferred across the paper fibers after you have written. So this is definitely not acid free. So any acid free paper is going to contain the feathering from happening. To show a contrast between the 80 GSM and the 120 GSM, let's try writing on both these papers. So you can see that the printer paper is not ideal for calligraphy because it allows feathering and bleeding. But in contrast, the 120 GSM cartridge paper will neither feather the ink nor will it transfer or bleed it to the other end. So now let's compare both these papers for watercolor painting. So an 80 GSM paper, the printer paper is not ideal for watercolor because it's very thin and it's not going to hold water. The 120 GSM is not bad. It, it's not as good as a watercolor grade paper, but it can be used for any watercolor painting or even watercolor paints as calligraphy inks. So the next kind of paper we're going to review is the mixed media paper. I have the Fabriano mixed media paper. This is about 160 GSM in thickness and has a more rough texture. It does not have a smooth surface. As the name suggests, mixed media paper is ideal for different mediums like uh, acrylic, watercolor, drawing, pastels, calligraphy. It's quite a versatile paper. So let's try to write on the mixed media paper. I'm using the same calligraphy pen for this. So if you see, because of the rough texture, it gives a little bit of resistance to the writing, but it doesn't feather or it will not bleed also through the paper. 
because of the thickness. The next paper that we are going to review is the Cancel Montwall watercolor paper. This is about 300 GSM. This is quite a thick paper and has a very rough texture. So it's very ideal for watercoloring. But it's, it can also be used for calligraphy because of the textured surface and the thickness. Again, this is acid free, bleed proof and it will not feather the ink and also has a good water holding capacity for watercolor. This paper is ideally used for more professional artworks or any finished artworks. So the next type of paper we are going to review is a marker paper pad. I am using the Montmart marker paper pad. This is about 100 GSM in thickness. This has a very smooth surface, almost like a buttery surface. So if you see in contrast to a watercolor paper, this is very smooth. So the marker paper pad is usually used for drafting like pencil work and uh, outlining uh, designs. It can be used for watercolor because it has good water holding capacity but it's not the ideal paper for calligraphy or for watercolor. So why it's not ideal for water calligraphy is because it does not absorb the ink into the paper. It's it is acid free, it is bleed proof and feather proof but it will not it will take a long time to dry, so it's not really ideal for calligraphy. The next paper that we are going to review is the Browse Calligraphy Paper Pad. So this is marketed as a calligraphy practice paper pad because it has the pre-printed guidelines and the slant lines. But based on my personal use, I wouldn't recommend this paper for calligraphy because it says it's acid free, it's not really acid free. It does both bleeding and feathering into the other side of the paper. So it's not a very thick paper, it's quite uh, low in the GSM grade. It's only about 100 GSM in thickness, but it definitely is not bleed proof or feather proof. The next paper we are going to review is the Clairefontaine Calligraphy Practice Paper Pad. This is marketed again for calligraphy, similar to the Browse Calligraphy Practice Pad. This is about 130 GSM in thickness. It's quite thicker in comparison to the Browse paper. And I would say this is the ideal calligraphy practice paper pad because it says acid free and it is acid free. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't feather and it's ideal for calligraphy. Let's try writing on this paper you will see that the ink doesn't feather it doesn't bleed through the thickness of the paper and it's extremely convenient for calligraphy in terms of texture this has a smoother texture so I'm just comparing this with the watercolor rough texture paper so you can see that the surface of the paper is quite smooth and it also has good water holding capacity so you can maybe use it for watercolor painting as well but this is probably the best paper you could use for calligraphy though
the next paper that we're going to review is a 400 GSM cold press paper. So this is neither a smooth surface nor a very textured rough surface. And this is ideal for professional artworks or finished artworks, be it watercolor or calligraphy. So it has a good water holding capacity, it's bleed proof, it's acid free, it doesn't feather, it doesn't move the ink in any which way. So it's ideal for calligraphy and for watercolor artwork. So if you see there is no bleed through the next side and it's quite a thick paper as the GSM suggests about 400 GSM so it's quite thick. So up until now we saw a lot of white and cream colored papers. Now we'll look at colored papers. So the first colored paper that I'm using is the craft paper which is brown in color. This has a quite textured surface. It has quite a bit of paper fibers. So if you don't prepare this paper it's going to feather but it doesn't bleed. It's quite thick so it doesn't bleed onto the other side but it definitely feathers and I wouldn't call this an ideal paper for calligraphy practice. This kind of craft paper is more used for uh, craft work, origami or even for acrylic or gouache painting. I wouldn't again say it's ideal for watercolor painting because it does have water holding capacity but because of the color of the paper you won't be able to really see the artwork on this. The next kind of colored paper we're going to review is the black paper. So I'm using the Bristol black paper here. It's about 200 GSM and it's of professional grade. So it's acid free, doesn't bleed, doesn't feather and can be used with white ink or metallic inks. The next kind of colored paper is the Fabriano copy tinta paper. Again, this is also of about 100 GSM or less than 100 GSM paper. And it comes in variety of colors, pastel colors, bright colors, dark colors, different colors. And again, this is also of very good quality. It doesn't feather or bleed. Like just if you can see the calligraphy on the colored paper, you can see that it doesn't feather or bleed. I hope this video on paper review was of use to you. Comment in the section below as to what other reviews you'd like to see from us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for your support.